Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to go over how to live stream your Rococo mocap data directly into Cartoon Animator 4. There were just some new updates released that now allow you to stream both your body and smart glove data to Cartoon Animator, but the workflow is still super quick and easy, so let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we're completely up to date with our software and plugins. If I open up the Reillusion Hub, for this all to work, you'll need to install the latest version of Cartoon Animator, version 4.4 or higher, and the latest versions of the Motion Live 2D plugin, and most importantly, the Rococo Profile for Motion Live version 1.1, which is a new update. It is this update to the Rococo Profile that allows for glove data to be streamed. You'll also need to be using the new Rococo Studio version 1.9 or higher. You can check Reillusion's website for more info on how to get everything installed and updated to the newest versions, and check out the description below for links on installing everything. Okay, so you've got everything installed, and now let's open up Cartoon Animator 4. I'm just going to add a little stage background here, and then we'll select our character. For this demo, we're just going to use Martha F, which stands for Front Orientation. And now we can jump into Rococo Studio. So here I am with my Smart Suit Pro and Smart Gloves on, and now I just need to enable the live streaming. So I'll head to Start Live Stream, and then we'll turn on the Cartoon Animator module. So we still do need to make one change though. In order to get both the suit and glove data into Cartoon Animator, we'll need to add an extra port from which to broadcast. I'll show you why in a second, but here you can see that we're now broadcasting from both ports 14043 and 14045. Okay, so let's jump back into Cartoon Animator and I will open up the Motion Live 2D plugin. If you've installed the new Rococo Profile version 1.1 correctly, you'll now see that we have a hand option in addition to the body option. So I'll turn on the body, green light, that works. But then if I try to turn on the hand mocap, we'll get this error message. That's because Cartoon Animator is trying to use the same port for both the body and hand data, 14043. Instead, I'll change the hands to the second port we opened, 14045 back in Rococo Studio, and now you can see that we have both body and hands enabled. So we still are going to need to do one more thing to get our hand data working, because if we try to add the Rococo mocap to our character's hands, we'll get this message that our character doesn't currently have finger bones. You can follow the link to find out more, but to fix this, we'll just close down our Motion Live tab, and then we'll go into Composer mode. Once there, we'll go to the Content Manager, Body, Hands, G3 because Martha is a G3 character, and then Bone Hand. And here you can see that we have this template here for this character, Martha, that we can add into the scene. In this case, we want palms down, which is what Martha is currently posed as. We'll just drag the bone hand template into the scene. And after it loads, you can see that we now have bone hands. So I'll leave composer mode and now I'll reopen our motion live plugin. I'll enable body and hands, green light on both, and then I will add them to our character. Now if I hit preview, there you go. We are now broadcasting body and hand mocap directly into Cartoon Animator. So this was just a basic tutorial to get you all connected up, but we'll be releasing more Cartoon Animator and Reillusion content soon, because these are just really great workflows, and the Cartoon Animator workflow in particular is an awesome way to translate your mocap into these 2D characters. Thanks so much everyone, please put your questions in the comments below, and have fun mocapping out there.